Now, fast cars and plenty of tweed can only mean that it's racing season at Goodwood. The members meeting is one of the more exclusive events in the circuit's calendar, where owners of some very fast and very rare cars get to show off both on the track and off of it. So we went along to bring you some of the highlights. For many people, the home of classic motorsport will always be Goodwood. The circuit near Chichester is famous for spectacle both on and off the track, with people and vehicles coming from all over the world to take part. The members meeting, of course, kicks off the calendar of racing. Wonderful as always to come back to Goodwood. This is where I, I was brought by my dad when I was about three years old and I watched heroes racing around Goodwood, so this is the place that made me love to be a racing driver and uh, I was so lucky I managed to get a career in racing and now thanks to Lord March I'm racing around the track that I, I dreamed of doing and never thought I would. The one hour uh, Jerry Marshall trophy in a Rover SD1, big beastly three and a half litre V8 rear wheel drive, perfect Goodwood car. Well I've been very fortunate to race at every revival race I've raced at and I've now done every members meeting so I'm trying to keep a, keep a trend going that I do every race I can at Goodwood. And, uh, as long as Lord March, Lord March keeps inviting me back, I'll be most grateful. The big thing was that you know, Lord March recreated the track as it was in the 60s. Every other racing circuit in the world has had chicanes put in and corners cut and gravel traps. The spectators are moved, you know, half a mile away from the circuit. But, you know, he recreated the circuit as it was. So I'm actually driving around the same track as my hero, Jim Clark, raced around when I watched him. And so that's what makes it so special. As well as a few famous faces, this race meeting is also a perfect opportunity for some of the racing club members to bring their own vehicles and to test their own skill against other owner drivers. I'm um, 65 Mustang, um, I've owned it for um, just over a year now, so uh, first season in it last year, first season in Historics, so really pleased to be at Goodwood for the first time. I'd say that the um, overall atmosphere of the event is, is the primary reason why you come and the quality of the grids is absolutely fantastic. Great spectators, so yeah, great all round event. And quite daunting when you've not driven it before. So, no runoff, so it's not like a modern circuit like Silverstone GP where you can go off and not hit anything here, you go off and you'll be in a tire wall. So it makes it, yeah, really quite interesting. Well, we hope that doesn't happen. Just one question before you go. How are you feeling about racing? Talk us through what you're thinking right now. Uh, I'm very nervous. I'll tell you how I'm feeling about 15 minutes. There was oil down at the start, so I was trying to feel my way into the circuit, hoping to get a reasonable time. Uh, about halfway through, I spun on some oil at the chicane, which didn't help, but fortunately didn't hit anything. And then I managed to sort of get a bit better pace during the second half of qualifying and uh, had a reasonable time at the end. Great, it's just uh, really quite tricky in cars like Mustangs that they go very quick, but the handling is a little bit wayward. And for those not entirely interested in the racing, there was plenty else to see and do, including clothing and collectible stalls, a classic car auction, and even a pop-up pub, complete with live music. And the festivities continued well into the evening, with more live acts and even a vintage funfair. This is Richard Stringer, for That Solent. <laughs>